Hey everybody, welcome back to Prepper Junkie. Today we have a Springfield Armory Saint AR-15 on the table for us to review. Let's go ahead and start. All right, so what comes with it? It comes with a 30 round PMAG standard capacity if your state allows it. It comes with gun lock and some paperwork. And it came with a very nice bag. I wasn't expecting this. Um, this is actually embroidered with their logo. Has their little uh, removable patch up here. So that was kind of nice. Um, I wasn't expecting that gun bag at all. So, but yeah, let's go ahead and review the gun here. Um, it comes with a very nice stock. This is B5 system stock. Has a nice butt pad on the back here. Has your placement for a QD sling and your regular sling attachments if you wish. Obviously it has multiple places to adjust it to. It's pretty nice furniture. Um, not sad about that at all. Um, let's have a look at, the, there's a kind of a standard mil spec buffer tube as you'd expect. And then we have the castle nut which has been staked once. Staking is good. Uh, moving along to the top here, we have a standard uh, M4 charging handle. If you've seen my other videos, I'm not a huge fan of these. I usually switch these out uh, pretty quick. They function just fine though. It is just a personal preference. So you don't have to switch it out by any means. It does come with a iron sight backup flip up sight, or actually it does not flip up, it's a push up uh, like so. It is made of a metal and it has a couple of uh, different apertures at the back here for your sighting in. And then to put it down, there is a little pin, a little push pin right here, push that in put this sight back down. Um, but that rear sight uh, does work in conjunction with your front post right here. Um, so that's what that is for. Uh, since we're on the top here, you can see we have the T markings right here and this is on the top of your 1913 pick reel. Um, because of the design of this gun, you are limited uh, for rail space up here. You could definitely get a red dot sight up here just fine. Um, you might struggle to get an LPVO, it depends on the size of the mount up here. So just be aware of that. I mean, obviously if you want, if you had to, you could take off uh, your backup sight. It would give you just a little bit more room um, if you are if you bought an LPVO um, a mount and maybe it's just too big, something like that. The upper and lower is 7076 T6 aluminum. Um, as you'd expect, most of AR-15s are coming with that nowadays. Everything else is pretty standard. You've got your charging handle, your brass deflector, your mag release. On the side, you have your safety and your bolt catch and release. Um, it's got some nice engraving here. It says, it says Springfield Armory Saint right here. Um, if you're into that, that kind of engraving and there's, that is on there, it has the logo on here also. Um, and has just a little bit more of engraving, just a couple of different little things. Uh, moving down, uh, we have a B5 Systems grip. I love the grip angle, uh, very nice. It's got some nice texturing. It's just polymer, it's not rubber over mold. Uh, but the grip angle is very, very nice. I do like that a lot. And, and the texturing is really aggressive, actually, right in the front here. That's really aggressive. So you can get a really nice um, purchase on that. Um, it does not have a little, I like it when they have a little storage compartment in the bottom. I can have my kind of whatever you want in there, but uh, no storage compartment on that. Uh, we do have this, the curved trigger guard, which I'm a huge fan of. I really like, I, I know it seems really stupid, but I really do like uh, curved trigger guards. I don't really like the straight ones. This again is by B5 Systems, um, and I do like that a lot. Uh, then you have kind of a standard mil spec trigger. Uh, we'll go over that in just a little more detail in just a second. Um, Obviously, uh, like most other uh, low receivers, the magwell has been slightly flared out for easy insertion of your magazine. Okay, let's move up. Um, we have your delta ring right here. Um, and this is for, you pull this down or you can use a tool to pull that down and take this handguard if you wish, if you want to change it or something like that. Um, you can see here, this does have a lot of, and this is by B5 Systems also, all the furniture is by B5 Systems. Um, you do have a ton of M lock slots here, here, on the bottom, all the way around. Um, and it actually looks like it has a heat shield in here also. I don't think it goes straight through the barrel. I think there is a heat shield just inside there. Um, it's a very, very narrow handguard, which it would explain um, if there's a heat shield in there, which I am about 99% sure it is, because that's going to get hot real fast and your hand is really close to that. Uh, to the barrel. You can see the gas tube, how close it is. It's right, on uh, right up to the top here uh, on there, that gas tube. And it is a mid-length gas system, which is super nice. I love mid-length gas systems. Probably my favorite. Um, you know, they all function just fine, but mid-length, that kind of happy medium for functionality, reliability, smoothness, all that kind of fun stuff. And there's a flying here. Whoa. Um, 
So yeah, so it's very thin. I have medium sized hands. I can easily wrap my hand all the way around that. So you can get a really nice purchase on, on that handguard. Um, again, you can switch it out if you don't like it for some reason, um, you you know, you can do that, but I can definitely, um, I can definitely appreciate being able to get a really good purchase on that handguard. Uh, moving up, we have the front post, as I said, this is obviously attached, it's pinned and stuff to your barrel. Um, so that is that. Then you have a, another sling attachment here. And then we come to the barrel, it's a 16 inch barrel. It is a uh, CMV steel barrel and it is melanite coated. Um, it's chambered in 556, um, which means if uh, if your barrel stamp 556, you can shoot 556 and 223 out of your barrel. If it's stamped just 223, um, you can only shoot 223 out of it. Uh, but this is a 556 barrel and it's a one in eight twist. And we do have an A2 birdcage flash hider on the front. Okay, so overall, um, outside is really nice. Now, I actually, I've been getting a lot of people appreciating me telling them the, the kind of the tolerances between the upper and lower receiver, if it's got any wiggle. I guess some people really like to know that. So let's check that out. There's a little bit of wiggle in there, not by much, but there is a screw um, inside up through your, your grip. Um, they actually have a name, I think they trademarked it, uh, Springfield Armory, a trademark, to, I can't remember the name of it, but um, in the lower receiver here, um, just below your takedown pin on the lower, you'll be able to see there's like a an end of a screw. So when you push that up, it actually pushes against this and that will tighten the upper and lower between them. So if you don't really don't like any wiggle, you can, you can basically screw it out of it, if that makes sense. All right, so. So you can do that. So we do have the trigger. We have an H buffer at the back here with a, with a standard um, stainless steel spring. Let's take out the charging handle and uh, the bolt carrier grip. So the bolt carrier grip, um, we do have a, it is stamped with the uh, Springfield Armory logo right here. Uh, the fit and finish looks pretty good. I'm looking at the staking on the gas key and it's almost non-existent. That's really disappointing. Um, they, um, maybe I'll take a picture and I'll roll in so you guys can see it. Um, but it's, it's almost non-existent to the point of pointless what they've done. Um, so that's a little sad to see. Um, everything else, it's, it's got the MP, it's, it's stamped in here for MP, MP tested, which is good. So other than that, everything looks pretty good in there. Um, just other than that, gas key staking is pretty atrocious. But let's put this back together. And then let's go over the trigger pull. All right, so let's go over uh, the trigger here. Um, as you can see, it's kind of a nice silver color, but let's go over and see what the take up's like um, and the reset. So let's do that now. A little bit of take up right at the wall. Nice clean audible break. You probably heard that. There's that fly again. Let's do this. The let's do the let out. You heard that. You know it's quite a nice uh, reset. Again, it's not like a geyser trigger, but it's definitely not too bad at all. Um, the trigger pull weight comes in at about six pounds. I put that a, a few times, and the average was about six pounds. Um, so the trigger is not bad at all. Um, shooting it was really nice because it, you know. For, for one, it has that mid-length gas, gas system, which really does help smooth the gun out. Um, I, I only put a couple hundred rounds through it. Um, ammo is still a little expensive, um, so I'm not, again, able to put through as much as I would like. Um, but from what I did shoot, I didn't have any problems, not that I was expecting any. So yeah, not bad at all. So overall thoughts, um, okay, so these are coming in, at the time of posting this video, they're coming in about 8.49 is what I paid for this, plus free shipping. Um, and I think it's actually pretty good value for money. You're getting some really nice furniture upgrades. Um, you're getting a pretty decent barrel. Um, yeah, there's a lot to like on this. Um, yeah, I'm not, not disappointed uh, to say the least. There's a lot of guns in, the, in that kind of market, that kind of, in that kind of price range, that kind of budget friendly. You know, there's the Smith & Wesson Sports, there's the PSAs and things like that. Um, and I think that this, you know, is a pretty decent rifle uh, to say the least. So as I say, it's got a nice, there's a lot of nice features and upgrades on it. Now I realize there, um, there's some history with Springfield Armory, some political history. Um, I don't 
I really don't go into that stuff on the channel. I just review the gun and my thoughts on the gun and not the company as such. So um, if you dislike Springfield Armory, that's fine. Um, I'm not going to go into that, but their, their rifle seems decent. I have no definitely no complaints as of yet. And throwing in that nice little uh, gun case was a nice touch. So, all right, that is pretty much it, folks. Um, link is in the description if you wish to buy one. If you have any questions, any comments, please ask them below. I'm always happy to help out wherever I can. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Until next time, we'll catch you later.